hello everyone creative winners here and today we're gonna learn this awesome isometric design so before moving further watch this if you want to rip dvds to mp4 h.264 and other video files in only five minutes then check out vnx dvd ripper platinum it is easy and fast all thanks to its advanced gpu acceleration technology you can use it to copy your dvd to iso image file with intact tracks Rip the DVDs to hard drive and USB and do not worry about disc scratches and loss. Simply enjoy watching movies on your TV, iPad, iPhone and Android devices. You can also enter Vinex DVD contest page to get a free license code and get a chance to win an iPhone XS and Netflix gift card. For more information, refer to the video description. Now coming back to the tutorial. The first step is to design a nice background and we will fill a nice gradient color in the background. You can see on the left I have already placed a color palette. So I found this color palette on Google Images. There I typed color palettes and I got this color scheme. So I am using it. Now the next step is to insert a shape. So we have inserted this rounded rectangle, remove its outline and we need to fill some color now from the palette. So I am trying to fill here gradient color. Now go to the effects option here and click on this 3d rotation and select this option and you will get this isometric design let's fill solid color now we need to fill a nice gradient here so let's try so you can use these gradient stops to fill a nice gradient color you can move these here and there just experiment until you get the desired result so there is no rule to create a beautiful gradient it's all about what you are expecting out of it so now change its 3d format increase its width and height and now it has taken a shape of a mobile phone so now it's coming out nicely and it's looking really beautiful metallic in shape now duplicate this top layer and slightly increase its size send to back we will use it as a shadow so till now we have these three shapes first is the top layer a solid color second is the metallic 3d cell phone and third is the shadow now i've applied some effects on the shadow so that it looks bit blurry now insert another rounded rectangle and make it completely round Now fill this dark blue color and reduce its width and place it here and we will fill a vibrant blue color here so now it's coming out nicely here select both these group them together press ctrl g for group and duplicate it that for the third time select all these slightly reduce the size go to effects option and we will change the 3d rotation and place it like this So I'm focusing on here changing the 3D material. So we have changed it to metallic so that every shape here gives a look and feel of a metal. 
now we have again duplicated these shapes and removed these two shapes so till now you have seen that we haven't done anything complex here it's just a game of few shapes and we have just changed their 3d rotation their angle their material and that's it and it's coming out nicely now we are creating this button here we will place it at the bottom of this mobile phone design and we will use this dark rounded rectangle to act as a shadow so isometric designs are very popular these days and these look really nice and these isometric designs always catch the attention of the user whenever you will use these designs in your presentations it will really help in increasing the content consumption rate and of course your clients will love your slides so that's how you can increase the probability of landing a good deal so isometrics are awesome And rest is your efforts to experiment with the shapes options here the more you will try and experiment the better the result you will get so I've ungrouped these three shapes here and we will align these because when you group the shapes and then change their 3d rotation and then you ungroup them the the alignment gets distorted so that's the reason we have ungrouped these and manually adjusted the alignment now it's the time to add some awesome icons icons are one of the best things when it comes to presentations it really helps in understanding the content better and these are the great uh, these are the great components for enhancing the design of your slides especially for the corporate presentations icons work really well so you have to place this these icons like this make sure that the color is fine and these are clearly visible if the icons are not clearly visible then there's no point adding these icons so powerpoint is fun and it has lots of option to design anything all it needs your efforts so meanwhile what you can do is please subscribe to our channel we want to increase more followers we want to enhance the visibility of our channel the more you will subscribe and like and share the videos the better it will be for us as our visibility will be enhanced and more number of people will come to our channel and watch the videos so that way we will get more support and motivation to bring out more such awesome slides and we always create these slides for free for you guys so that you can use these slides and learn how to create these beautiful concepts so our design is done let's add some text here 
because without text there is no point adding the design so here we have used this dummy content and you can change it as per your requirement content is very important in presentation make sure it is short and crisp and it is to the point you don't have to write a complete sentence like this is a ball you just write important notes here like 30 percent growth Forty percent drop in sale or increase in sale whatever you want to say make sure it's short and crisp and easy for the viewer to understand I've seen slides where people put whole paragraph there is no point adding the paragraph in PowerPoint because Microsoft Word is there for that PowerPoints are used to express yourself in a graphical format write short text and make it self-explanatory now we are adding three small circles or you can call these dots on these three blue rounded rectangles because we want to use connectors to connect these blue rounded rectangles with these three text box text boxes that we have placed so that's how you can drag and add the connector change the connector color so duplicate this connector and we will leverage it but before that let's change its starting and ending node now duplicate it and place it on the second text box again duplicate it and place it on the third text box now move these text box towards the top end of the slide now let's write the title of the slide in the isometric form for that we are using a gradient text and we have changed its angle using the 3d rotation option now let's write business presentation so it's quite easy you don't have to keep it in this isometric form you can write it straight as well but i'm trying to make it more creative here so that's why i am using it now duplicate both these text boxes fill the dark color and send to back and it will create a nice shadow effect now slightly move these text boxes towards the left and you are done your slide is ready so this is how it will look so i hope you will like this design so please subscribe to our channel join the membership and like this video share your thoughts in the comment section and watch this video till the end also do not forget to download this free slide from the link provided in the video description so thank you guys thanks for watching till the end have a nice day and we will come out with next video soon